everybody, Hood and Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is the 1988 Vamp Mark II Mail Away variant. And it is not complete, but this is probably as close as this vehicle will get to a review on this channel. So let's go ahead and call this a review. This Vamp was available as a Mail Away offer only, and it was a variant of the Vamp Mark II from 1984. Like the retail Vamp Mark II, the Mail Away version did have a missile launcher with four missiles and it had the roof and the doors. Those parts are missing on this vehicle. So this is basically a shell, although it does have the turret for the missile launcher and it has the front bar with the headlamps. The roof and door panels on the Mailaway version were similar to the retail version, but slightly different. The Mailaway Vamp Mark II did not include an action figure, so there's no clutch figure that goes with it. The most significant difference between the Mailaway Vamp Mark II and the retail version is the color. The Mailaway Way Vamp Mark II is in a much lighter tan color than the retail. There are also some differences in the mold. The Mail Away Vamp Mark II uses the same mold as the original Vamp from 1982. When the mold for the original Vamp was updated for the release of the Vamp Mark II in 1984, they made some changes. Uh, one significant change is the shovel that is sculpted onto one side of the hood. Most later releases of the Vamp mold included that shovel, but since the the Mail Away Vamp Mark II uh, was using the original Vamp mold, it does not have that shovel. You can see that shovel detail on the Cobra Stinger from 1984, which also used the mold for the Vamp Mark II and has that shovel detail. Up here in front, the Mail Away Vamp Mark II has the retail Vamp Mark II's front bar with the headlamps, but in a light tan color instead of dark gray. That is an update from the original Vamp, which just had that front bar in green without the headlamps. The missile box turret on the Mail Away variant is the same as on the retail version, uh, but in that lighter tan color. I've removed the missile box on the retail version so you can get a better look at that turret. While we're looking at the back of these vehicles, let's look at another difference. The retail Vamp Mark II had these peg-in water cans. That was not a feature on the original Vamp mold, so the Mail Away Vamp Mark II has the red for the jerry cans like the original vamp. Of course uh, the jerry cans would be in uh, light tan rather than green and of course they are missing on mine. Another difference between the retail vamp mark II and the mail away version uh, is they do not have the same dashboard. That is not easy to get on camera uh, but the retail vamp mark II has a larger and more detailed dashboard. Uh, the uh, mail away vamp mark II has a less detailed dashboard and in fact, that is the same dashboard as the original Vamp. Since these two vehicles have the same interior in almost the same color, you might have to be wary of sellers taking the bottom half of the more common Vamp and meshing it with the body of the rarer Mail Away Vamp Mark II and kind of constructing the rare vehicle on the cheap. Uh, but there is a way to distinguish between the bodies of these two vehicles. Uh, the date stamp on the Mail Away Vamp Mark II uh, says, here we go, 1988 Hasbro made in Brazil. Uh, on the bottom of the original Vamp, uh, it says Hasbro Industries, copyright 1982. And just for comparison's sake, the retail Vamp Mark II uh, says uh, Hasbro Inc., Copyright 1984. The stickers on the Mail Away Vamp Mark II appear to be the same as the stickers on the retail version. Of course, the placement of the stickers is often different just because kids put stickers in different places when they assemble these vehicles. But it does appear to have the same stickers as the retail version. Uh, now, this is the Canadian release. Canadian vehicles are the same as American vehicles, except instead of having American flags and says United States, uh, they will have Canadian flags, and they will say Canada. Now for the moment of truth. Is the Mail Away Vamp Mark II as good as the retail version? 
Personally, I like the Retail Vamp Mark II better. It's possible I might change my mind if I had the missing parts on the Mail Away version, but I don't think so. I really like the darker brown color on the Retail Vamp Mark II. That's a nice, deep, rich color. Uh, the lighter tan on the Mail Away variant is, just seems a little weaker, although both would be fine for a desert environment. That was my brief review of the 1988 G.I. Joe Mail Away Vamp Mark II. I hope you enjoyed it. I apologize for reviewing an incomplete vehicle, but honestly, this is probably about as complete as this vehicle is going to get for my collection. I hope you liked having a little midweek full review. I'll be back with another full G.I. Joe toy review this weekend. I hope you tune in for that. And until then, remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.